Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have Eight of Earth. Skilled work is rewarded with renewal here. Review and evaluate. It looks like someone's redirecting their thought processes towards uh, uh, thinking about their future now. Okay, someone's making plans for a future. I see that uh, this is completely opposite than what's been done in the past. I can't stop thinking about you. I want to feel that way again. Yes, yeah, someone has you on their mind 24 7 and uh, wants to make this a reality here. Okay, someone has a goal. Overall energy judgment card again. Someone's definitely making a decision here. This is about uh, coming back to the foreground. Okay, decisions being made. All right, let's see what's going on in your energy this week, Gemini. We have High Priestess, Death Card, Two of Wands. So there's a lot of things, okay, that you've been thinking about for a while. And this week, things uh, suddenly hit you, okay, that the writing is on the wall. There are some endings here, things you need to let go of and things that you need to progress on, okay, and invest in. And this is a really good week where your intuition is very high and uh, you are very certain of uh, your convictions and what you need to do. So definitely listen to uh, your intuition here, your inner uh, inner being. I do see when it comes to your person, you feel like they're, this person didn't make a decision or they didn't do right by this connection. So the writing's on the wall, okay? I kind of see you sitting there going, well, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, then it's a duck. And I'm not going to make excuses for anything that they've done or what they're doing now. Eight of Swords, Ace of Wands, the Lover's card. Okay, so they're in this energy of uh, being overwhelmed with thinking about you constantly and uh, this extreme uh, chemistry that they have with you. They feel like there's a bond here that uh, they cannot break, that it is overwhelming for them. And the only thing that they, that they can think about now is taking action. Okay, so let's see this Ace of Wands. Wheel of Fortune Chariots. Yeah, this person's come up with a plan here. Okay, to move forward. There's something they're working on or there is progress here. They've changed their mindset from what it was in the past. Okay, so it's already kind of picking up that this person uh, had other things going on. Maybe they weren't a committed type person. They don't like to take responsibility for things or they kind of like just to do their own thing. And so they kind of ran from this connection for some of you. And I see now that their mindset is changing here and uh, wanting something different. They're wanting stability or to build a future. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Hierophant in the past. Okay, so an opportunity here uh, that was missed in the past or a promise that was not kept. And I see that it was hard for this person to commit to this connection, to do what was expected of them when they're in a situationship or a connection uh, or even a relationship right? There's just some unwritten rules or things that you need to speak of and uh, lay some groundwork, okay, and boundaries. And this person pushed past the boundaries. They made up their own rules and they weren't really forthcoming with uh, how they felt or what they really wanted at that time. Uh, tell the Ten of Wands. Ten of Cups, Seven of Cups. For some of them, they were already in something committed or they were in the past and they were very unhappy about it. They didn't want uh, to be in anything serious or be in that kind of energy again because they got hurt deeply. Okay, tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. This also left you confused not knowing if they did want a future. Okay, because when you first got in this with them, it seemed like you were both on the same page here. Four of Swords, yeah, it's kind of like this opportunity was hanging in the balance. What am I going to do with this connection? Is it going to progress forward? Should I nurture it or should I just let it go? And it's kind of like they just held back. They procrastinated on doing anything about this connection. Uh, tell me the Four of Swords, please. 
Magician, Knight of Swords. Okay, so I see they wanted what they wanted. It's a little more detail here. Um, what you were unaware of, what they kept from you, is that they truly desired you in every which way. They did see you and fantasize about what it would be like to be with you in the future and to build a life together. Uh, but they didn't like that they were having these feelings because they felt like there was either something in their life at that moment where it wasn't matching up with yours and they felt like they couldn't let go of certain responsibilities or they felt like they couldn't move forward due to their own mindset, due to the fact that they were so hurt in the past, they didn't want to, uh, you know, be responsible now. There's just a fear of getting hurt. It's the foundation uh, of trust issues as well, but the same for everyone. Okay, so let's see what the challenge was here. So it's like they denied their own heart here. They denied what they truly were desiring, trying to suppress and uh, really in denial here, telling themselves they didn't want it, but they truly did. And they knew after so much time, uh, it was becoming more intense. They were wanting you more. They were thinking about you more. Five of Swords, Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Yeah. So the ego was at the forefront, but in the way of this person's keeping control of this connection, not allowing you to have a voice or feel safe with them because uh, they weren't giving you a sounding board to be able to even open up or express your emotions because they were on and off all the time, very hot and cold. And I see at times they would just kind of leave you hanging. They would abandon you and you would feel rejected by them emotionally. And they, this person could tend to play some mind games, five of swords, six of wands, just to get what they want to keep this kind of in, hanging in the balance, not really having to do anything about it. So they would manipulate conversations or say things to you to make you feel uh, that, you know, we don't need to be talking about this right now or making you feel misunderstood. That was done on purpose, okay? Come so with the five of swords. They know this now. Uh, tell me about the tower. Tower nine of pentacles. Yeah, they felt like if I would have met this person at a time in my life in the past, uh, I would be so happy now. We would be able to do anything in the world together and I would be with them forever. I wish I would have met them at a different point in my life than now. So uh, anything could be stopping this person, okay, from... Uh, really wanting to progress forward because it could be a mindset, it could be an environment, it could be a third party. The foundation it's showing me is the same, that they just felt like, man, I really wish I had known them in the past. Because right now, either they're too hurt from past relationships or they've got a committed one going on. It's just making them feel overwhelmed and felt like there's no way I can get what I want now because it's not ever going to turn out the way that I want it to. Okay, they're going to end up breaking my heart uh, anyways as well for some of them because there is trust issues here. Some of the six of wands, please. Nine of cups, three of wands. They would manipulate the energy to make you... Uh, long for them so you would stay in this connection so giving you just a little bit uh, of attention at times but then retracting it suddenly being very cold kind of a game of cat and mouse you know making you want to want them okay a strategy some of the five of pentacles empress page of swords they felt like you could handle it Okay, that you would stay because you're a very stable person. You're very loyal. Uh, they see that you are uh, beautiful inside and out and make their life much better so that they loved about you. And in a sense, they became very attached. They couldn't let you go. There's a lot of nostalgia here, too, uh, that I'm picking up on. Uh, something very familiar to them. And it's a thought about you or a memory that they constantly think about that makes them happy so in a sense it's kind of like you are their happy place when everything in their life is going awry okay so let's see what action they take this week but i see that they were trying to deny themselves right that just uh you know live in that that energy of you know I don't really care as much. No, no, no. Trying to convince themselves that they don't care. Uh, but they couldn't take it 
as time progressed. It's like they couldn't suppress it anymore. Knight of Cups, Four of Wands, World. So Gemini, get ready. Uh, we have not only a new beginning here, but we have the proposal of a lifetime where the universe is going to give you what you deserve. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take here, what they're going to say to you moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.